All right, what's going on, guys? It's Super Slick Uzi. Uh, I'm gonna be giving you a run through FL Studio 10 today. Uh, this tutorial, this tutorial is for beginners, so uh, I'll be showing you the different elements of FL Studio. Now, when you first open it up, uh, it should look something like this, similar. We'll start with the browser. Uh, the browser is where you'll import sounds, presets. Um, this is where you'll put your sounds and samples. Uh, you can add different folders here, but uh, we'll start off if you go to packs and uh, you can look through the different sounds and sample them each one by one. Uh, the next thing that you'll need with FL Studio is the step sequencer. This is where you'll sequence your drums and your sounds, put everything together. Um, this is really important because this is where most of the action happens here and in the piano roll. So we'll go ahead and start off and drag a sound in here. Let's use a drum loop. So with FL Studio, you can basically just drag it in there. And, um, or you could right click, send to select a channel, and it would send it here or open a new channel and it would open in a new channel. It also comes with a built-in audio editor and pitch corrector and uh, we can go further into that in, new, in other tutorials. Now with the this drum loop we have here what comes up is your sample information uh, the different things that has to do with the waves, the loops, stretching and uh, that's a little bit more advanced but you do have different tabs where you can control uh, different things and we'll get more into that. The next thing we'll go into is the piano roll. Uh, with the piano roll, if you right click, you can go through there or you could come up here and press the little piano keys. They'll both do the same thing. Uh, this is where you can obviously play the piano or you could assign notes, you could play it drums in different pitches. Um, if you click on this ABC here, it'll change the mode that you view it in. So you don't have to view it with the actual notes. So if we, right now, we're on this drum, drum loop. So if we click C5 is the root note, so it'll play at a normal pitch. And if we bring it down to, let's say C4, it'll play a lot lower. Well, it actually is supposed to. Yeah, so you get the the idea. Um, next thing we'll go to is a playlist. This back here, which you see track one through 16 and however more you need, if you ever need that many. Um, this is the playlist. This is where you put actual, actually compose your actual song or beat or whatever you're doing. Uh, one thing that's a little bit different is here. It has it has these hash marks as opposed to the pattern blocks in FL Studio nine and eight and previous versions. Uh, if you want to actually have the pattern blocks, which I find are a lot easier to use, come up to Options, General Settings, and down here, you press Enable Legacy Pattern Blocks. And it will tell you that they become obsolete and won't appear in future versions. But that is okay. So right now we're on Pattern 1. And you can see up here in the Step Sequencer, uh, you can put different sounds on different patterns, but each pattern is by default always going to be empty so you can come up here and adjust the patterns also I forgot to mention you can come up here and adjust the tempo so we can bring this down to about 88 um, here's your metronome if you want to hear that while you play along uh, with your beat it'll play that for you uh, here's a countdown if you're going to record and we'll save some of these stuff for later mm. With the patterns, uh, we have this drum loop here, and 
you can assign it to the different patterns obviously and put them into the playlist so here we have this pattern with this drum loop if we go to the next pattern we can actually add a different instrument and put it uh, here and it'll play along with the the drum loop to play the patterns separately by themselves you come up here and click on pattern to play it all together as a song you click on song you can rename the patterns by pressing the middle mouse button or right clicking and press rename or just press F2 so we'll name this drums now another thing FL Studio comes with a lot of plugins you can add your own also uh, we won't go into how to add plugins but if you come up to channels let's add FL keys and that's basically a piano that comes with FL Studio so we'll go to pattern 2 step sequencer and you see these are our two sounds you right click piano roll and we'll play a quick uh quick melody now with the uh, in the piano roll you have velocity and up here you can control which instrument you're using and you have no panning which pans it from left to right you shouldn't be dealing with no panning too much but uh, with velocity you can change the velocity of each note uh, if you just simply click and the the lower it is the lower the velocity so we'll keep it all here at about 80 percent And we'll just play this for now. Um, so, if I want to play this on a pattern, it would play by itself. And we can take this metronome off. Um, and if I wanted to play the drums by by themselves, we could play that. And a lot of times, um, if you're using the loop like this, it'll overlap itself. So what you need to do is come up here and this is to set the length of the step sequencer you click and you just pull it up and it'll increase it so you can add you know you can go farther and longer um, so let's see if this will work so we have that at about eight bars um, and we have our piano So now we want to finish our beat. Uh, the next thing we do is go to the mixer, which is up here. And with the mixer, here you have all your different instruments and lots of empty inserts along with the master channel. Uh, I forgot to mention also up here is the master volume and up here is the master pitch. You shouldn't be messing with these too much, but um, this master volume and this master volume are very different. So uh, this is the master volume of the overall program. This is the master volume of your composition. So what you would do is come to the step sequencer, pull up your sample information, click over here. As you can see on FX, it's already rooted to channel one. But for FL keys, for instance, it's blank. So what we would do is come up here, click on this down arrow, assign the free mixer track, and it would do that or you could just pull it along to whichever one you wanted so now we have it on two and when we play it you'll see yeah that sounds horrible but you get the basic idea um, if we wanted to export this you know super hot beat go to file uh, come down to export and you have your different options. You have a WAV file, MP3, and OGG, and MIDI. Um, MP3 is what I use the most. If you're exporting samples, like to reuse, I would recommend WAV. And um, let's go ahead and click on MP3. You pick where you want to export it. And um, under info, it'll let you know what's going on. Looping mode, you press leave remainder, or you could cut the remainder 
uh, quality you can choose I have a pretty good computer so 512 is good and depth since it's mp3 we don't need to worry about it because that's for wave uh, under mp3 I usually leave it at about 320 and uh, output format mp3 so you're pretty much ready to go um, just a few other things you can go to options uh, let's go to audio settings this is where you can control your input and output and you could play with that um, also if you come down to general we already went through this but under file down here under backup uh, you have auto save and I would recommend you put it to at least 10 minutes uh, you can also come and press on project and enter project information and you know those are some of the ins and outs of FL Studio it takes a lot of time to really learn if you're new to the program but you know you learn as you go and pretty sure you enjoy it so you know be sure to subscribe I'm out